Andy here. It's story time and let me tell you the story of how I bought this prophecy box. It was in November 2021 and these boxes were crawling up in price at a slow but steady pace. So to expand my collection I decided to buy one of these boxes only not to lose an opportunity to grab it at a decent price. I went on card market, the European version to the US TCG player and found a good box at a good price. I had commit to buy and transfer the money. These boxes are not cheap now and were not cheap even in 2021. As soon as I bought the box, the seller, and let's call him Mr. D, started to send strange messages regarding the shipping method and cost, which I was finding them quite unusual. After a couple of days, Mr. D, the seller, sent me another message asking me to choose the preferred shipping method. I was like, what the F word? I, the buyer, am paying you a good amount of money and you are asking me to choose the shipping method, putting the responsibility on my shoulders. No freaking way. And my answer was frank. It's the seller responsibility to ship the item. You choose, not I. You bear the cost, not I. And you take the risk. I already paid the shipping cost when I checked out. At this stage, the seller started to complain, which usually the buyer complains, but this time the seller started to complain that he doesn't want to bear the extra cost of shipping and wants me, the buyer, to pay him the extra shipping cost. I decline, stating that it's your responsibility as the seller to ship the item and I just ask him if he wants, he can just cancel the sale. No hard feeling. The seller came again to me asking to split the extra cost which I declined again, this time on the basis of principle. You are the seller and if you screw up, bear the cost and the consequences. At this stage, I was determined to lose the box and buy it from someone else, even at a higher price, not to pay the extra shipping cost, because as said, it's the seller responsibility to ship the item and bear any cost that they may incur. To cut this story short, in the end he cancelled the order. I was okay with it, no worries at all, I'm not that type of person that keeps grudges and at the end of the story I was lucky enough because a couple of days after the cancellation someone else submitted for sale another prophecy box, this box at the same price range, which I grabbed ASAP and now I'm a happy owner of a nice box of prophecy. Leave me a comment below what are your bad experience with sellers when buying magic cards or seed products and here is a subscription button subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about magic the gathering and the collectible world.